Good morning. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This is not at all the video that I had planned for this week. Um, my initial plan this morning, I was gonna go up and look for some mountain goats to photograph. Uh, I love getting them in the winter when their coats are all all fluffy. Uh, but I I uh, was using my binoculars to look at the mountain, and I couldn't see any where they usually are, or where I'm usually able to find them in the winter. So uh, you know, I was sitting there just last in the mountain, and I heard some uh, birds behind me. Maybe you've heard them in this video. I don't know. Um, I heard some American Dippers. These are birds that I've been wanting to uh, photograph and get some video of for a while now. They're just these little songbirds that hang out in the river and actually dive down into the water and catch uh, little bugs to eat. They're just super fun to watch, uh, charismatic birds. And uh, yeah, so I was looking for those, those goats, saw the dippers, and decided to uh, use the opportunity to uh, go after these dippers. So uh, it, it's been fun. I've been here with them now for about an hour and a half, two hours, and it's just been great. I'm having a blast. Uh, these, these birds are super tolerant of me, which is nice. Usually they're not from what I've seen, but these ones are extremely tolerant. So it's been awesome so far. I'm gonna get back to them now though. You know, as a wildlife photographer, you need to capitalize on opportunities like this. You know, I go out this morning looking for mountain goats, couldn't find any, and I could have just gone home disappointed that I wasn't able to get what I wanted, um, but instead, you know, I see these dippers that I've been wanting to video and photograph for a while now. So I took the opportunity to, you know, spend a couple hours with them and I was able to get some pretty cool images and video in my opinion. So, you know, when you go out looking for animals to photograph or even just to observe if you just want to find an animal and look at it, 
most of the time you're probably not going to be successful. Um, I'll, I'll just be honest, at least in my experience, maybe I'm just really bad at finding stuff, I don't know. But the majority of the time that I go out and look for something, I, I don't find what I'm looking for. So you, you need to be able to adapt your plan and uh, really just capitalize and take advantage of something when you find it. Uh, even if it's just a little songbird, you know, jumping in the river catching bugs. That, for, for me, that's, that's part of the fun. You just find the animals and you make the most of it. And you can come away most of the time with some pretty, pretty awesome stuff if you put the time into it. So I'm, I'm grateful I did this this morning. I'm very glad with what I was able to get. And uh, I'll keep looking for the mountain goats next time. I, and like I said, you're not going to find what you're looking for every single time. Uh, but there's always next time too. Just do the best you can every time and uh, make the most of every situation. It's, uh, it, it's always worth it being out here in nature. Even if you don't see any animals, just being out in this beautiful place, always worth it in my opinion.